and welcome to another action-packed episode of Badminton Unlimited. Coming up on the show, we recap the highs and lows from finals day at the Yonex French Open 2019. HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2018 champions Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi recall their week in Guangzhou, which saw them clinch one of Babington's biggest titles. And we speak to Swiss inspiration Karin Suter Erath about what keeps her motivated to continue playing at the highest level at the age of 48. Worked a lot on how we can support us, even if it's not going well or how we can give energy to, to each other and it's yeah I really enjoy playing with her. The HSBC BWF World Tour bandwagon rolled from Denmark to France for the second European stop. The Super 750 event drew record crowds to the Stade Pierre de Coubertin and the final day was no exception. In just her fourth tournament back from a long injury layoff, Carolina Marin brushed aside three top five players to reach her second final. On the opposite end was 17-year-old An Su Young, who dispatched world number two Akane Yamaguchi in the last four. Marin drew first blood by dictating the pace. The second game went to the Korean after a change of tactics. In the second set, I think I just uh, make uh, some mistakes and uh, I give her some confidence. And, uh, and in the third game, I mean, I just uh, made all the mistakes and I just wanted to to play like uh, like try to to make the shuttle on court, but it wasn't possible. The one-sided third game was over in 19 minutes with An Su Young winning her first Super 750 title and her second HSBC BWF World Tour crown. All eyes were on mixed doubles top seeds Zhang Siwei and Huang Yachong following their shock quarterfinal defeat at the hands of Praveen Jordan and Malati Daeva Octavianti the week before. The opening game reached a fitting climax with the Chinese pair winning on their fifth game point. The Denmark Open champions then bounced back from 7-13 down to even the match. The Indonesians made a slow start in the decider, but at 4-7 they turned the match around with some precise and penetrating attacking plays. Ya, kalau dibilang dari awal main, kita juga sebenarnya ada kesempatan buat menang set pertama dan di set pertama itu memang kita uh, kalah di mepet ya poinnya dan Di set kedua kita lebih banyak komunikasi lagi, lebih uh, ritmenya lebih kita mainin lagi dan mereka uh, mungkin gak enak di situ dan mereka jadi sampai set ketiga pun lebih banyak uh, membuat kesalahan sendiri. Yang pasti seneng banget ya, yang pasti udah seneng banget bisa apa ya, bisa memaksimalkan permainan juga. Tadi juga sempat banyak mati-mati sendiri tapi maksudnya Jordan maksudnya ya. Support terus, ngingetin terus, maksudnya, ayo bisa, maksudnya yakin, jaga motivasinya ya. Itu jadi apa? Iya yakin lagi gitu. Indonesia claimed their second title of the day through Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumuljo. It was a normal day at the office for the men's doubles top seeds as they claimed their seventh title of the season and extended their win streak against Satwik Sairaj, Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty to seven matches. Feel very good to win again here. And it's very amazing weeks for us. It's two weeks in a row. It's such an amazing result for us. With a lopsided 7-0 record against Jonathan Christie, Chen Long was the heavy favorite to lift the men's singles crown. The Olympic champion asserted his authority from the get-go. His determination to claim his first title in four finals this year and a first in 12 months saw him prevail in two games. He is the first men's singles player to win consecutive French Open titles since India's Vimal Kumar in 1984. I think it's good to be able to win the 
可能从第一个球第一分开始，好好去做好自己的连贯啊，尽可能的能够打得更投入一些。对，那至于如果确实可能打到后面会累了，那也办法。那但我起码我要把我能有有有力的时候，能把它做做到最好。In an all-Korean women's doubles final, Kim So-young and Kong Hee-young looked on course to repeat their triumph over Lee So-hee and Shung seung chan in Seoul a month ago after taking the opening game. But Lee and Shin took charge from 14 all in the second game to complete a come-from-behind victory and record their first title this season. This time on the fifth match point opportunity. Nozaki Matsutomo and Hayaka Takahashi win the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals, having won the Super Series Finals four years ago. For many, winning the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals title gives them bragging rights of being the best of the best. Players and pairs are locked in an intense season-long race to Guangzhou, with only the top eight making the cut. And with a country only allowed a maximum of two players or pairs in the tournament, sometimes even being in the top eight is not good enough. Thus, for women's doubles pairs from Japan, the fight is that much harder. Just like last year, three pairs occupy the top three positions, but with Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara already qualified as reigning world champions, it once again comes down to Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota, and Misaki Matsutomo Ayaka Takahashi battling for the final Japanese spot. For defending champions Matsutomo and Takahashi, the experience of 2018 makes them confident about their chances for this year's tournament. So, this is the first time I've been in the first time. 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 I've been in the コートマットが赤だったんですよ普通こう緑とかなんですけど赤のコートマットで試合をするっていうのがなかなか初めての経験だったので最初ちょっとどういうなんかちょっとやっぱりあの見づらいとかそういうのも関係してくるのかなと思ったんですけどあの体育館の雰囲気もあのすごくやりやすかったですしその赤のコートマットだったんですけどあの何も問題なくプレーすることができたのであのその初めてあの中国になってからこう自分たち優勝できたのですごくいい思い出でした。まあ、やっぱり今年はオリンピックレースのまあ終盤にもなってきているのでやっぱり出たとしてもしっかりこう決勝だったり優勝しないと本当に意味がないと思うのでまあ本当にまた毎日毎日強いペアと戦えることは本当に幸せなことだと思いますしまあ本当にあの出れたら出れたでしっかり優勝を目指して頑張っていけたらなと思っています。まあ、そうですね、まあ、でも自分たちのプレーをあのしっかり楽しんでやりたいというのは変わらないので、まあ、自分たちのできることをしっかりベストを尽くしてやりたいなと思います。When I started, they said, yeah, you play tennis on a badminton court, and I really had to, to start to, to change my technique, to, to work on it, and also the moving is different. You see, sometimes I'm, I'm turning still too much. In, in tennis, you, you turn a lot, you go for like eight, uh, eight and in badminton, it's more uh, stop and go. After an accident in 1997 left her paralyzed from the waist down, Karen Suter Erath turned to wheelchair sports which led to her winning a bronze medal in doubles tennis at the 2004 Athens Paralympics. These days, she's seen as an icon of para-badminton as a double world champion and a triple European champion. 
And the Swiss has set her sights on meddling at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. The biggest motivation is that I, I love the sport and I lo love to be with, yeah, with our team. That's a, a big inspiration for me to, yeah, to be in training with, with good people that I, that I like. I like to, to have some time for, for myself when, when it's a singles match or when it's a, if it's a doubles match to, to prepare early with a partner, to talk about the, the tactics, about, about the aim, but I don't have uh, headphones or, or music usually. Yeah, I just see that I have a quiet place for, for myself or for our team. Um, well, the next um, half a year is already the plans are, are fixed. We, I will go to, to Thailand and to Tokyo this year. And next year um, we are planning going to Brazil, Peru and uh, Spain. And yeah, I'm well, looking very forward also for Brazil, Peru, where I've, I've never been to Peru, for example. And yeah, I'm excited about that. I like South America. It will be interesting and of course the, the qualification for, for the Tokyo Paralympic Games. I think we have a very um, um, we have a, a great Swiss team and we understand each other very well and uh, my main sparring partner is Christian Tim. I, I train uh, four times, uh, three or four times a week and yeah, with, with Cynthia, I think um, we have a really, really good ta uh, team understanding. We enjoy playing together and we, yeah, we worked a lot on how we can support us, even if it's not going well or how we can give energy to, to each other. And it's, yeah, I really enjoy playing with her. It's not all days the same, you know, it's quite different. I work uh, part-time, 30%, so one day or maybe a second half of the day I'm working and the others are training. I have two different training centers where I train. One is close from Basel, the other is uh, closer to Zurich or Baden. I work for the Swiss uh, Wheelchair Sport Federation and I do there are um, education courses for, for monitors, for, we have wheelchair clubs and then I also do sport consultation with people not that long in a wheelchair and yeah, talking about possibilities of sport, see what they, they would like to, what they, their goal is. I think it's, it's not bad, we get some good financial support, I could re reduce my work, but of course it, it could be better, it would be great to have really a centre where we can train, train together, where we have the sports hall, fitness, fitness centre where we can sleep, there it's, it's not yet uh, ideal I think. Time for a quick break here on Badminton Unlimited as we continue our conversation with Karen Suter Erath and find out about her love for Basel. And the HSBC BWF World Tour heads back to Asia with the Macau Open 2019 the next stop. I am Karen Suter Erath and you're watching Badminton Unlimited. In this second part of our conversation with Karen Suta Arath, we find out about the person behind the athlete. Hailing from Basel, the Swiss para badminton champion shares with Badminton Unlimited why she loves spending time in her hometown. I grew up in, in Basel, you know, it's a city where, where soccer is, uh, football is very popular and when I was a child I already went to, to watch uh, football of FC Basel um, and I still go to see the, the matches if I have time and uh, of course Roger Federer as much as possible I watched his, his matches. Basel is a, a very nice city. Uh, what I like most is the, the people. It's also like uh, international. We are close to, to Germany, to France. People are very 
nice, very open. Uh, I like to, to hand cycle across the Rhine, which is very, very beautiful. And of course, I know some nice uh, restaurants where I can go for eating. I like a, a lot of food. The special thing we have, it's called Rösti. <laughs> That's uh, made of, of potatoes and uh, that's what one thing I like and of course uh, I, I love chocolate, <laughs> Swiss chocolate and, and winter our, our cheese, raclette which is known, or fondue. I really like that but I cannot eat that all the time of course so usually I, I eat quite healthy. I also eat a lot of uh, veggies of course but, but not only. Yeah. Mm, if I'm home alone I, I like very much to be in nature. I have my, my hand, hand bike, electric one, so not really for, for training, but to go into the nature and I like to be in the, in the forest where it's quiet. I love very much the, the nature, the animals or the sound and, and there I also like to do some meditation, some, yeah, that gives me, gives me power and, and calm. We have a cat that I, I really love. She's 14 year old now, uh, Simba, and I love uh, cats in, in general. That's yeah, one thing. And then I, I like to, to spend time with my friends, especially um, going out for eating, as I said. I like um, good food, but also uh, card games. We have a special, special card game in Switzerland, which is called Yas. We play at four people, also teams of two. And this I have been doing since I'm a child and um, for since about 10 years uh, I came into, into poker, Texas Hold'em. That started already in the, on the tennis tour. We started play poker when we had time um, after the tournament or often. And now I play sometimes, uh, if I have free times, I play with, with friends on Texas Hold'em. I like that. Two down and five more to go. It is crunch time on the HSBC BWF World Tour season with just a few more opportunities for players to qualify for the year-ending HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2019. This week, the tour is back in Asia. And here's a quick look ahead to the Macau Open 2019. The Super 300 tournament will be held at the TAPSEC Multisport Pavilion from 29th of October to 3rd November 2019. First organized in 2006, this year the event will celebrate its 14th year on the tour. China's Shi Yuqi headlines the men's singles competition as the world number three looks to regain his form after suffering an ankle injury at the Blibli Indonesia Open 2019. With the biggest threat in his quarter of the draw being Thai seventh seed Kosit Fepradab, Shi will be eyeing at least a quarter-final finish in Macau. Korea's Son Wan Ho also returns from a seven-month injury layoff after undergoing surgery for a ruptured Achilles tendon. The second seed will hope to hit the ground running with no seeded players in his quarter. Three reigning champions return to Macau hoping to defend their crown. Michelle Lee in women's singles, Kim Gi Jung and Lee Yong Dae in men's doubles, as well as Tang Chun Man and Su Ying Sweat in mixed doubles. Only the Hong Kong pair have found success on the tour this year with a title victory at the Yonex Chinese Taipei Open 2019. They will, however, have their work cut out in a very competitive field, with Thailand's Dechapol Puavaranukro and Sapsari Tiratanachai leading the seeds. The duo looking for their third title of the season. Two Indonesian pairs are seeded ahead of Tung and Su as well. Denmark Open winners Praveen Jordan, Melati Daeva Octavianti are in second, while German Open 2019 runners-up Hafiz Faisal, Gloria Emanuel Wijaja are seeded third. So keep your eyes peeled for some top-class badminton action coming away this week from Macau. Our classic match this week comes from the Dubai World Super Series Finals in 2016. It was the last group match in women's singles. Spain's Carolina Marin had no chance of proceeding into the last four, having lost her two previous group matches. 
while victory for Prasala v Sindhu would secure her passage into the semi-finals. Just four months before, the pair had clashed in Rio for the Olympic gold medal, which Marin won. Sindhu was eager to exact revenge. Oh, good defense. Two, oh. It's over. No! Well, now perhaps it's Carolina Marin that's looking a little bit nervous. Yeah. Oh, yes, there it is again. There it is, yeah. There it is again. Yeah. And, and now I know who wins this match. Good deception. Oh, good defense. The poor coverage. What a rally. This is fabulous. Indian fans on their feet. Look at that court coverage. Oh, that's a fabulous smash down the line. Gosh, Marin has up the pace. Yes, yeah, she it? has. My goodness! Where, where did that pace come from? <laughs> because we haven't seen it. Yet. Throughout Two. the tournament? No. Oh, no. Sindhu did awfully well to keep the rally going as long as she did. <laughs> Went for a third drop shot to the Pusala backhand. Oh, good shot. That's a very good shot. That is over. each other in the semi-final of Copenhagen World Championships, but not in Guangzhou. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. Oh, clever. What a good rally. Good shot. Yeah. yeah. That is over. Opportunities. <laughs> no, not again, surely. This time, the result of the Olympic final has been reversed. The Indian fans celebrate. Ampu Sala Venkata Sindhu wins in two straight games against 
the Max player who took one goal. One goal for Salah, the Zindu, 21-17. In Rio de Janeiro. That's it for this episode of Badminton Unlimited. Join us again next week as we look back at the action on finals day in Macau. And we spend some quality time with one of Japan's most popular players, Yuta Watanabe. In the meantime, remember to log on to bwfworldtour.com for all the latest updates and features on the HSBC BWF World Tour. It's bye-bye for now.